In this little mini series, we're talking about uh, how to export your video and uh, the various options that you have in EDIUS and uh, what settings to choose for any given purpose. In this lesson, we're going to talk about uh, archiving your videos, uh, saving it to a file format that is of a very high quality. And uh, this is something I like to do when I'm finished a project is to save it to at least one very high quality uh, AVI file. And EDIUS gives you that option. So let's hit the F11 key to see our options again. And uh, any one of these options here under the AVI are going to be uh, a very good high quality setting. Now you may notice if you're editing in a high definition uh, project, uh, you may notice that some of these don't uh, work. You'll see that when you go to export, they're grayed out. And that's because some of the uh, options listed here under AVI are actually standard definition options. And so they only uh, become available when you're editing in a standard definition project. But for a high definition project, uh, we'll be looking at uh, one of these four options to archive our project into a very high quality video file. AVIs are known for uh, their high quality. It's pretty hard to set uh, your settings to be poor quality uh, for an AVI uh, option. Now the one that you'll probably use the most is the Grass Valley HQ option. And that's because in most scenarios you will be able to bring this file back into another EDIUS environment if you ever need to work with it again. And it, once you have the Grass Valley codex installed on your computer, even if you're working in programs outside of EDIUS, for example if you are wanting to work with After Effects or even uh, Premiere Pro, if you have the Grass Valley Codex installed on your computer, you'll be able to read these files inside those programs as well. And uh, so it's nice to have an archive of all of your important videos in this very high quality format. There's several reasons why it's good to have this. The first one is having one file of your program uh, is easy to archive. It's easy to back up. It's easy to transport. It's easy to uh, save to a separate hard drive or maybe even a third hard drive just to, to be safe. And that way you always have one file of your completed program should you ever uh, need or want to work with that program again. Another good reason why it is important to have this one high quality AVI file of your program is because you can always take that file and work with it further in terms of perhaps down the road creating files ready for a DVD uh, or perhaps you want to be able to convert it to standard definition or convert it to a letterbox version. Well, you'll always have that one file that you can bring into another EDIUS project and do the maybe second level conversions that, uh, that you often have to when you're doing video production. That way, should you ever uh, lose your project or some of your files go offline, uh, you will always have that completed, finished project archived nicely away in a very high quality video format. So I would recommend uh, for the most purpose using your Grass Valley HQ setting here. It is such high quality that you would be very hard pressed to tell the difference between your original output and the AVI file that's created. Even on a very high quality monitor, I doubt that uh, your eye would pick up the difference. Uh, even though it is a lossy format, there is some compression going on, the human eye just probably would not be able to tell the difference between a file that was played directly from the timeline and the exported version. In fact, if you saved your file as a lossless file, or even an uncompressed file, uh, and compared that with your Grass Valley HQ, the human eye probably would not be able to tell the difference. And so you're very safe to uh, save or archive your project using Grass Valley HQ. And uh, there is one extra little setting that you can add uh, to make it just a little bit better high quality. I think by default, EDIUS will uh, present you with the option 
of saving your uh, HQ file uh, just with the online standard, but I always choose the online fine. And if you save that as your default, you won't have to check this every time. Once you save it as a default, uh, you'll always uh, have it come back this way with the online setting checked. Okay, but what about our other archive options? Uh, what would be the difference? Why would we ever want to choose one of these other options? Well, if you are uh, working in a 10-bit environment, and uh, there are some cameras today that uh, shoot that way, or if you're trying to uh, do some very complex color correction. You might want to promote your project to a 10-bit environment. Even if your camera footage has been shot in 8-bit environment, it can be helpful uh, when you're doing some of those difficult color corrections to promote your project to a 10-bit project before you do your color correction. And there may be times, uh, maybe some clients that will ask you to um, send them your project in a 10-bit uh, format and so you do have that option here uh, with the Grass Valley HQ. Grass Valley lossless. Uh, if you have lots of hard drive space you might want to just go ahead and choose this to be your default archive uh, format. It is the highest possible uh, output that you can do in a Grass Valley codec. And uh, the only drawback, really, to choosing this format is that it will be a, quite a large file that you export. So if you've got a half-hour program, that could be a very huge file that you're working with. And so it'll take up a lot of hard drive space. Another thing to con be concerned about, if your computer is a little bit slower than some, if you're saving everything to Grass Val Valley Lossless and you've got a slow processor, your uh, computer may have a little difficulty playing some of these uh, lossless files. And the same with uncompressed. If you save your video to uncompressed, uh, you may find it difficult to actually play that when you bring it back into your EDIUS timeline. Uh, especially if you try and do a couple layers or effects, that type of thing. When you're working with these uncompressed and lossless files, they can require a lot more computer resources than if you were working with Grass Valley HQ. Okay, so those are the main four options that you would choose uh, when you are archiving for your own purposes. Now, if you are archiving for someone else, you may ask them, what kind of computer, what kind of editing software are you working with? What kind of codecs are you normally working with? What, it, what file is gonna play the best on your computer? And, you know, if they say, can you please send me something in XD Cam? Uh, well, this can be a very high quality format as well, especially if you're careful on your options. Um, you can set your uh, bit rate, for example, right up to 50 uh, megabits per second. So this can, again, be a very high quality uh, format that you can export to. But you wouldn't normally do it if you're just only going to be bringing that file back in to your own EDIUS environment because EDIUS will always work with its own native format uh, better than they would with some of these other formats. All right, well, I believe that that does it for exporting your videos for archive. And in our next lesson, we're going to talk about what you need to do in order to export your video for standard definition. But until then, that does it for exporting your video for archive.